Denise Kwan. And I'm Matt Napoli. So today we're here to talk about the DevNet Express Meraki. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so the DevNet Express Meraki actually debuted at Cisco Live in San Diego in uh, 2019, which was wow. our last Cisco Live US. Um, over that period of time, it has evolved, and actually we started to, to use um, what we call Learning Lab 2.0. Uh, and so we launched uh, what we call that platform mm -hmm. uh, actually two weeks ago. Um, and so we've been using that for all of our learning labs. We're using it for a number of workshops here at Cisco Live. Um, and we've revamped the entire DevNet Express uh, for Meraki and actually security as well. Um, and we're doing that with DNA included. Um, but what we did was we made the experience of the hands-on piece a lot more clean, a lot more clear. A lot of people, when they get into programmability and development, uh, we have to learn how to use these tools and we have to install them and all that stuff. And so uh, what we did was we kind of took that away and just focused on the lesson about the APIs, about the technology, about the platform itself, and we're able to focus on all the ways you can integrate with Meraki. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great because I know a lot of times when, especially like giving sessions and stuff, a lot of times people will be like, oh, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use Postman. So the fact that it's all integrated sounds like it'll be a lot better experience for everybody. Um, since you said the original one debuted in 2019, yes. If people want to, do people want to retake them and see this new experience? Is there new content? Um, yeah. I, so there is a little bit new content. Uh, Meraki, you know, they're in, they're they're evolving their integrations, um, and there's still some fun things from the past that have moved into the future. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the experience is so um, is so much better. Mm -hmm. that it is definitely worth revisiting. Um, you know, either just to, to brush up on the skills that you might have learned previously in a DevNet Express, or, you know, to, to just feel about the new experience. It's fantastic. We have an, an IDE built into the web yep. browser. We have a terminal built into the web browser. You can run web apps within these con in the containers that are actually running within them. It's super exciting, this kind of stuff we can do. Um, we have the Meraki simulator embedded within that, and so it's, it's, it's really fun. And people, when they do it, they're like, oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> so it's, it's really exciting to have that experience and not slog through the, yeah. sometimes it's hours of yeah. setup of, you know, is Python running correctly? Mm -hmm. is, my, is my developer environment set up appropriately? And, and all of the stuff that goes along with that, you know, I mean, yeah. you've been a developer mm -hmm. for 20 years, so <laughs> you, know, you know what goes into yeah. it, right? And I mean, I know with that platform, you know, eat, rather than copy paste, we have that ability to put it straight to the terminal, straight to the IDE, right. of just with the click of a button, and it's going to definitely make that experience so much easier. Yeah, and uh, you know, some people will argue that not typing out the commands or doing the actual coding um, sometimes takes away from the learning experience, but what we found is that people get so frustrated with not getting the exact thing right mm -hmm. the first time, and then they get lost in the lesson. Yep. And so being able to take that little bit out of, of their worry uh, makes them learning the actual lesson we're trying to teach so much better. Um, and then, you know, you put it on the instructor or the lab guide to say, this is why this is important, this is why these particular things are happening. Um, but, uh, you know, it makes the experience of the learning, uh, you, you've done so many yeah. sessions, right? <laughs> When someone gets something right, they're so excited, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, we just make it a little bit easier with Learning Lab 2.0 to make it right, and we've we've put that all into DevNet Express. And nothing stops somebody from typing it all out themselves. They are perfectly they're good. Perfectly with, you could just go that, yeah. if that's the route that they want to take, they can totally do that. Yes. So, if somebody's interested in the DevNet Express from Meraki, how do they sign up? How, like, what is their path to getting this? So uh, the traditional experience usually was that one of our field SEs would come out and say, hey, I want to invite you to an event where we're going to put all this content on. But we have the labs and everything always available on developer.cisco.com slash learning. Um, you can head to tracks, Meraki DevNet Express, and it'll walk you through all, all of that stuff on your own. Um, you know, it's always fun to have an instructor, but if you don't have the time to attend the event or don't have one come in your area or we don't have one virtually happening, um, then that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. And we're just using the same labs. We just curate them in a nice package. Um, you're going to learn about um, intro to REST, Python. Uh, if you want to do some Git, we have a fantastic lab on that. That's great. And then literally every way you can interact with the Meraki platform from um, cam MV cameras, location scanning, webhook alerts, all of that stuff's built into the labs. And I think 
people who go through that walk away really with a really good awareness of what is capable of extending the Meraki platform. Well, that's great that you no longer have to like physically go to an event or do it on like a virtual, you know, it basically allows people to do it on their own time. So if you only have a certain set of time yes. to do something, you can do the first little step, mm -hmm. then come back and keep on going. And you know, because sometimes when you go to these learning sessions and they're two, three, four hours. That's just a lot it's to go lot. <laughs> um, pounding into your brain and you're not gonna really actually be able to get in all of that material. So yeah. the fact that it's available for everybody, they can just you go to you know, developer.cisco.com to be able to do that and do it on their own time. Yeah, and we were really conscientious about breaking up the content into modules that could be consumed within an hour or 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, because to support people who are doing their own online learning that isn't proctored, uh, but for also situations where um, they are going to a virtual event, sitting in a virtual event for six to eight hours yeah. is awful. Yeah. And so, you know, thinking about more setting it up as lunch and learns, you know, having that experience that's a little more palpable and able to be consumed um, and walking away with an understanding that says, I really get this. I understand how Meraki integrations work. Now I'm excited to, to build out some solutions for my platform. So now that it's online and, you know, might won't have an instructor, what if like somebody's fearful of like, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm stuck. How do they get help? <laughs> <laughs> there is a talk to us button um, that will either open up a case if you find an issue uh, with any particular lab, or if you're having trouble, it'll open up a support case with our, with our team, and sometimes they get routed to me, sometimes <laughs> they get routed to Denise. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, those, that's the quickest and easiest way. Um, it's not real time, I will say that, uh, but we will reach out to you and let you know, you know how to get over that hump if you are yeah. h hitting that experience, or improve the lab. You know, if there's something that we missed yeah. uh, that needs to be improved, uh, that gives us the opportunity to, to do that as well. That sounds exciting, though, because now people have that on the, you know, when they want to do yeah. it and be able to get help, because that's a lot of times why people don't want to do online tutorials or they're like, I don't know this stuff. I might get stuck. Yeah. There's nobody to help me. But at least you know that there's going to be somebody to help you. Might not be real time, but <laughs> we, we're there we're and there. we're going to help there. you. We're there. We're behind the scenes. We're yeah. always there. <laughs> yeah, we're always there. We're always here to help. That's our whole thing. We love to help everybody learn these new things. And Oh, and you know, I mean, for those of, of you who are old, old DevNet heads, um, we have the DoveNet support room in, in WebEx, yeah. and so uh, through our through the developer site, if you go to support there, you can easily join into that room and ask questions on that as well. I forgot about that, so yeah, that is another, a little bit more real time. <laughs> that's another option as well. Yes, so. for sure. Sounds great. Um, you want to let them know where again, they can find it? Yeah, again, it's uh, developer.cisco.com slash learning uh, slash tracks <laughs> slash Meraki dash DevNet dash Express and uh, get started with your learning experience today. Thank you. Yeah.